Welcome guys. Thank you for tuning in. I hope everyone is excited for another top five. And this time it's for November. And holy shit, this month was bang. Banging man, because last month, October, was one of the best months that we had for music in the scene. I didn't think November could even hold a match to October, but here we are. There was banger after banger, some surprise hits, some truly amazing tracks that came out this month. You know what? Let's just get right into my top five, plus the worst song of the month. That's enough chit chat, so let's fuck do it. Insert drum roll. I don't know why I make that sound, but I just do. But anyway, number five goes to Boom! Kane Hill, Power of the High. Holy shit, this song, this band just totally caught me off guard. You know, I've heard the name a lot. I didn't know what to expect, but here we are. Some metalcore with some psychedelic classic rock elements and super shreddy as well. Holy shit. Here's a little clip. Ooh. Woo! What? Okay, so that's just a sample, and I had a really hard time trying to figure out my top five because it was a close race between Kane Hill and Boundaries, but I have to give it to Kane Hill for being a little bit fresh by adding these new psychedelic elements to the metalcore scene. However, Boundaries, you gotta go check out that album because that is some solid as hell metalcore. Spoiler, they didn't make it to my top five, but like I said, check out Boundaries as well because they're solid. Anyway, let's move on to New Metal Quattro. All right, number four goes to Boom, Vola, Headman and Sideways, the Danish progressive metal boys at Vola really surprised me with this track. You guys have been hyping up this song in the comments. I checked it out. First Vola track that really made me just love the band. Here's a little sample. Oh! That is a sick... Okay, so it's sci-fi, it's proggy, it's a little bit heavy and melodic. There's a lot of elements and components of the song, but this music video was awesome too. Looked like Ex Machina and uh, System Shock a little bit. It's futuristic, it's experimental. However, it's just a banging tune. So if you like progressive metal and you haven't checked out Vola, do yourself a favor and check them out. Anyway, numero tres. That's number three in Spanish. My Spanish is amazing. Okay, number three goes to... Well, bam! Chelsea Grin, Blind Kings. Holy shit, where has this band been all my life? Like, seriously, Tom Barber is a beast behind the mic, but I didn't realize they were so shreddy. Damn, this song had some creative guitar licks and some heavy as hell breakdowns. Here's a little clip. Boom! <laughs> and sick transition back to me and damn that was pretty cool right so yeah chelsea grin this song can appeal to even metalcore fans or people who aren't even into deathcore because like i said the musicianship is really tight because the creative guitar work these pounding breakdowns and these brutal as hell vocals but they're not just brutal they're very catchy because tom barber's phrasing with his words is super unique it's super fun and this music video is a little bit goofy it's very western uh well it is western and it might appeal to people who aren't into deathcore so check it out but anyway let's go on to number two and number two goes to ba bam Era House of Glass. Holy shit. Holy shit. That was like my trademark saying, just holy shit. Also, woo! Those two sayings. But that's pretty much how I can sum up my feelings about Era House of Glass. This is essentially what I needed from Era, man. So I finally figured it out. Actually, before I talk about it, here's a little clip. Woo! Holy shit, man! Okay, so most of you probably heard the song, but for me, I finally figured out my problem with the band Era is that they're progressive metalcore, but I felt like they leaned too heavily on the metalcore elements, and that was kind of holding them down because there's a lot of cliches in the metalcore scene, but I finally figured out what Era needed, and that was to be a little bit more progressive, and they definitely did that with House of Glass. Like, this song is proggy. 
uh, the time signatures are truly all over the place. I watched the guitar playthrough with a guitar tab and like seriously nothing stays four by four. Like this song is always ever changing. It's proggy. JT finally brought in his cleans and different kind of vocals. Like this is what I needed from Era. It had a different darker tone to the song. This is essentially what I needed from the band and I couldn't figure it out. But it, this is what I needed for them to be a little bit more proggy. Anyway, what a stellar track. Before we get into number one, let's name some honorable mentions. Where did this come from? Okay, those were the honorable mentions. Now time to name the worst song of the month. Guys, you probably know what it is, but here we go. Drum roll! And... Boo! Day to remember Brick Wall. Now, a lot of people don't like this song. It also is my worst song of the month, but... I still appreciate what they tried to do here with their, their experimentation. You know, the, the song pacing, the transitions, and the structure is a little bit all over the place, but at least they tried something different. Here's a little clip if you haven't heard it yet. That was better the first time around. Second time, didn't have the same punch. Okay, so day to remember, you know, the metalcore pop punk giants have tried something different with a chorus that just slows things down, come, brings everything to a halt. You know, it's it sounded good on paper, but it didn't necessarily work. And I actually heard someone say that, you know, the song kind of uses like a dubstep kind of structure. There's a build up to like this drop. Um, you know, it, I guess that they kind of did follow that structure, which is kind of cool. Doesn't mean it sound good though. That's the problem. Like you can have these cool ideas in your head, but sometimes it just doesn't work out when it actually comes to fruition. And this is case in point with Day to Remember. You know, um, it is what it is. At least they're trying something different. I still respect the band, but hopefully the next song can be something a little bit better. Anyway, let's go on to number one. And for those who follow the channel, you guys probably know what it is. Okay, New Metal Uno. Number one, come on, you guys know what it is. If you follow the channel, like I said, you know what it is, and it is Boom Aviation's Outliers. Come on, They're, literally, this song makes me speechless. I don't even know how to explain how good it is, but when you hear it, you know it's an 11 minute masterpiece. I said perfection in my review. And I do not use that word loosely. Like seriously, perfection is a word that I use very sparingly. I don't even think I've ever used it once for any other band. And here we are for Aviation's Outliers. Here's a tiny little sample from the 11 minute track. Oh, come on. <laughs> this song is truly something else, man. The musicianship, the creativity, the production, everything about this is literally S tier, God tier. It is pretty much perfection. This song is as close to we get to a masterpiece. Literally anyone can really enjoy this song too for the many different variations. You know, when you listen to this, don't go into it expecting things that you would normally want from metal. Just let the song and band, this music video, just take you for that ride. Just listen to it for what it is. And I guarantee you'll be rewarded. It's 11 minutes. I probably watched that video like a hundred times at this at this moment, and I'm not shy to say it. Like seriously, I've wasted countless hours just constantly watching this music video because it is incredible. <sighs> Congratulations, Aviations, and to your brand new song and video outliers. Seriously, I cannot express how good that song and video is. 
again check it out but those are my top five songs of november i'm curious to know what you guys have for your top five so comment down below spice up my life come on show me what you got for your top five maybe there's tracks that i missed in november i'm curious to know that if there is maybe i'll check them out in december because i'm trying to do my top 10 of 2020 and i need to check out all these songs that i miss so also comment down a song that i could have missed like maybe months ago please please i need to check out all this music all right but on that thing between in till next time Peace.